always be the one to go out my way to come all the way to her house from where I live at. You see what I'm saying? Whatever, I gotta break whatever. You was I going all the way over there to fuck? Don't complain about going all the way to her house now. Because when you wanted some ass, you was going all the way to her fucking house. If she was giving you some ass, you wouldn't mind that drive. Cut the shit, okay? Cut the shit. They spoke about that in one of their lives about the nanny. She wanted money for a nanny. I got something to say about that shit. Why the fuck do you need a nanny? Y'all motherfuckers act like y'all out here like y'all Kim Kardashian or some shit. How the, why the fuck do you need a nanny? You bitches ain't doing nothing. Y'all not doing nothing. Y'all home. <laughs>Welcome back to Mo Dollars TV. Could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. Today, we are going to be doing a reaction based on the video that I post uh, the other day. The video about Keisha and Jeremy and the whole drama that's unfolding with them. So Jeremy dropped a video talking about the entire situation. I have yet to watch it, but I'm going to watch it with you guys. So without further ado, let's get it going. Who y'all like, believe? Clothes, food, all that shit. Like, I bought all that. I can go pull out receipts for y'all. And I got some more shit over there in my studio closet for my son. I got all this shit for my son. And I can't even, like, I can't even get it to him. You see what I'm saying? Because for one, I'm always blocked. So I have no chance to even talk to him or to do nothing. Like, so this shit just sitting over here, just like. Didn't they say that um, she he was in contact with like Hazel or something like that. See, that's one thing that y'all got to understand. Y'all have to be able to co-parent. Y'all have to be able to communicate for the child. Y'all can't be blocking each other. Whether it's hard to deal with or not, whether it's drama or not. Because in, in case of emergency, if I can't get in touch with you or vice versa for the child, it's just not gonna work. But that's just me. Let go. When I had bottom of the food, that motherfucker just sitting in my car for literally two weeks straight. You see what I'm saying? Because I was blocked and I ain't had no way to talk to the girl to get my get my son, whatever my son is. Because obviously it's about my son. I don't care about the girl. I'm trying to take care of my son. And it's, it's kind of hard when a woman don't want to let you take care of what the hell you got to take care of. They feel like they got to dictate shit or... If, if it's not right with them at the time. Hold on. So, I don't want to keep stopping it, but can't no one let you do anything when it comes to your kid. For mine, I'm going to war for mine. You're not going to tell me when that I can't see them. You're not going to tell me that I can't. No, that's when you go over that person's head. See, this is this is the, the 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 difference between real men and children. You saying that I can't see my son? Cool, I see you in court because I'm gonna get my rights as a as a as a parent. I have rights to that child, and I'm gonna get my rights whether you want to or not. So I'm not gonna wait around for you to figure out. Oh we cool today, you can see him. We not cool tomorrow, you can't see him. No, we're going to get something in writing and then I'm going to get my child whether you like it or not. That's just me. Again, let go. They, they don't want you to do it for them or whatever. But even before this, yeah, but even before Christmas, I bought my son hella toys, all that shit. I bought all that shit to his house and I opened all that shit up the same day and she's talking about, oh, why you just won't 
He must have knew that this was going to get crazy because he got pictures and shit. Like I told him, look, man, my son get whatever he want whenever he want. I ain't got to wait for no Christmas or none of this shit to get my son whatever he want. And she knows it, so she going to... But like I said, it's ain't nothing but some he say, she say shit. But like I said, man, y'all didn't know what the fuck I do for my son. And she know everything that I do for my son. So I'm saying, I still got shit over here for my son that he haven't even got yet for Christmas. You see what I'm saying? And I mean, hey, man, until y'all ass feel like she can call me or whatever, I guess it's... Where's the goddamn receipt? How old is little boy? Ain't this little boy like goddamn... What he was... He about to be one. Wasn't he born in like March or something like that? You showing shit you bought for Christmas. Where's the shit from March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November? Where is that shit? I don't want to see Christmas gifts. You could have got that now because shit is hitting the fan. Where's the shit that you have done since he came out the pussy? Where's that? You don't stay right here. You see what I'm saying? Because I just like how she over here is talking about what well, my daughter's got and this and that. Look, one thing about it is a difference. Because their mama lit. Their mama gonna make sure they don't never ever ever have to go without nothing, regardless if I'm there or not. You see what I'm saying? That's their mama's doing. You see what I'm saying? I ain't got a problem helping out my son. Man. You see what I'm saying? Like, I ain't got no problem helping out. Shit, Y'all know damn well Keisha take shit, care of them girls you know and so, he don't do shit. You can't right, compare you're not able to do how them girls are or what them child. girls have to man, that boy because Keisha is, hey, is man, taking man, care of them you girls. Look at yourself in the mirror, you see what I'm saying? Because one thing about it, Keisha gonna make sure these girls got everything they desire or can think of. I mean, he's admitting and it. That's with or without me. You see what I'm saying? Y'all just y'all in my comments because y'all hating on Keisha, so this is the next thing to Keisha. So y'all just want to come run y'all mouth and say little slick shit, and it's cool. Why y'all right? hate so, Keisha you know so much? Because even okay, cool. <laughs> we we bought it a light. I know she be lying and shit. Life. She been lying Whatever for like five said, years, I put but. Y'all in the business, but if y'all really think about it for real, for real, I really didn't put y'all in my business. I just put y'all down in the book, like, hey, y'all, I got a son. You did what I said. I fucked up. Ooh, 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 whatever. But I got a son now, you see what I'm saying? And that's, that's a part of my life at this point. So if y'all still want to fuck with me and be a part of my life or whatever, or y'all want me to be a part with, of this YouTube situation, then y'all gonna have to know that I got a son now. You see what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, I wasn't in it to get into no details about how I got my son or how, with the, me and the mother of my son, how we, I ain't do all that, do that. I just talk. I feel like Delphia. They definitely... Spilled their own beans. Nobody knew anything about anything until they wrote that goddamn book. So, Philadelphia, Schmear Perfection. Yeah. Y'all, I got to tell because one thing about it, like, I, 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 I thought it was going to be like, shit, I'm going to be with my son for real, for real. So, it's just like, if I'm out in, in the public, and I know a lot of people, especially in Atlanta, because a lot of the fan base is in Atlanta, and it's just like, y'all see me out with a little bit of boy on my arms. Y'all can be like, hold on, this ain't Johnny Jai or Jory, you see what I'm saying? So it's just like, now you gonna have to end up, okay, cool, who the hell was that? You see what I'm saying? Because it's inevitable, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's inevitable about, about y'all finding out what's going on. And, and another thing, like... There was a better way for y'all to bring that out. Y'all tried to capitalize off of a fucked up situation and it came and bit y'all an ass. That's what happened. Be a part of my life, so it's just like I don't want to. I don't want to like. If be a part of my life, I'm gonna put y'all down on what's going on. Like, cause when you see me, you gonna see him. You gonna see my daughter. You gonna see whoever else a part of my life. You see what I'm saying? So that was the whole purpose of me even telling you I had to sign. Other than that, like if we went on a platform that like how we is now, then I wasn't even saying shit about my son. I would just be with my son and take care of my son, and y'all wouldn't know nothing about nothing for real. For real. But it's inevitable that somebody gonna see me with my son because I Y'all know he retarded as fuck, right? Like y'all gotta understand, like as fucked up. I don't wanna keep pausing it, but to have had my son <laughs> and my only son. You see what I'm saying? It's like and mind you now, like, mind you, both both of these both of the women, you know what I'm saying, that has my they had the kids in my life, they both know how I feel about me wanting a little boy, you know what I'm saying? Me wanting a little mini me, me wanting all of it. So they they both understand that, you see what I'm saying? And the fact that, you know what I'm saying, that somebody could get on here and just make it 
um, out to be that I'm just neglecting my son. I'm not doing what I need to do for my son. Man, look, y'all, that's not true at all. I promise you not. I'm telling y'all from my mouth with the most genuine, sincere, fucking boys, whatever y'all want to call it. Like, look, man, my son is everything to me. That man is everything to me. I was just like... It's just very heartbreaking. Well, it ain't heartbreaking. It just showed me who people really are, which I've already known, but it just solidifies who people really are. You know what I'm saying? When Go they, to court. When they, um, when, when, when they talk about you behind your back, you see what I'm saying? Because coming from, even coming from my mama that I learned certain things that she kind of discover or find out about my my input in my life with my son, it came out to not be true because I'm like, hey, mom, that's not true because I bought him this, I bought him that. What's the date on that receipt? Leave it up to her. She tell my mom I didn't do nothing. I just caught that date. That date was November 29th. Again, where's the stuff from March until the holidays? My son. Oh, hold on. Let's pause this. Dude over here bringing, he got, he got receipts. They spoke about that in one of their lives about the nanny. She wanted money for a nanny. I got something to say about that shit. Why the fuck do you need a nanny? Keisha too. Why do any of y'all, did your parent, did your parent have a nanny? Y'all motherfuckers act like y'all out here like y'all Kim Kardashian or some shit. How the, why the fuck do you need a nanny? You bitches ain't doing nothing. Y'all not doing nothing. Y'all home. Take care of your fucking kids. Like, I don't, that's, that's the thing I don't understand. I, I don't fucking understand that. Keisha got three kids. Now, if you needed help doing one thing while you do another thing, that's something. Why the fuck do you need a nanny? And this girl got one kid. What you need a nanny for? The fuck you need a nanny for? You want a babysitter from time to time while you go out, shake your ass? But a nanny? A day-to-day -day nanny that help you take care of your kid. You bitches is... You bitches is terrible. I don't even mean to call y'all the B word, but... That's how I feel about chicks who want assistance to take care of their kids. Just some of August stuff I'm about to send back with him and his mom. They just pulled up for Halloween. He got receipts. He got receipts. Even before I even got it. Cause look, y'all. Jeremy be came prepared. Let's be real here. He came prepared. Man, look, mama's I still don't see what happened since you know March. What so, even when I but he got a couple of receipts, bro. Like, okay, cool. But I didn't know for sure that I'm outside. Cause like, you could have been out sleeping with anybody, which I'm pretty sure, like, whatever. Like, you could be out sleeping with anybody. Like, that's not my business. But for real, for real, like, legit, you could be out. The, the, any woman, you see what I'm saying? Like you can. Oh, he's trying to call her a whore. The one who carry the baby, you see what I'm saying? So that's why I'm just speaking on women and, 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 and for this instance, because I know a lot of folk, a lot of my partners, they've been taking care of folk baby for two, three years, and then just to come to find out the baby growing up, you're like, hold on, this something ain't right. This baby ain't really like me like that. So they get tested, they find out that that's not even their baby. You see what I'm saying? But from birth, like the baby look like my type of life, real, real. Y'all, y'all, I'm pretty sure if y'all watch paternity court or y'all know somebody y'all real life, y'all know what's going on. And it's just like, what well, even when I found out what was going on, you know, I went to go um, see him or whatever, you know, because obviously when you see your child, you don't know that's your child for real, for real. Like, especially a parent like me, because, like, you're not going to know thing, shit. He's so okay, fucking ignorant. In life was to you're not, there's times where children, you can look at a baby like, and I that baby don't no look nothing so like you, so but that's world, your like, kid. Nobody's going to be able to walk this earth for me, like, in my, in my soul, me. See what I'm saying? And when you have kids, that's what's gonna walk the earth for you, and that's what's gonna leave your legacy on. Like, like, this, like, for, let's be real, y'all. If y'all got a kid with somebody, 
and you got another parent that like that want to be there for them. Like, would you take your child away from their other parent that's trying to show them love and get them love? Especially a boy now. Like, I'm a man. Like, what I like? Why, why should my keep? Why should my son have to grow up in a house full of women? You see what I'm saying? That's a part. That's wrong with a lot of folk going. Come on, like, Jeremy. I, I was I was you know, rocking like, with you like, for like, a second. Don't be ignorant. Confused with shit because you're like. I'm a whole man. Why you don't want your, your son to be with his daddy to show him real man shit? Show him, okay, this a man. Like, we ain't finna do all that crying. We ain't finna do all that we mean. Like, we ain't, even though you're not a man, but you gonna be a man. So I need to teach you now while you a baby. Like, what, what? you need to do as a man. He's it's dumb like as my, fuck. My, my and ignorant and shit. Whatever I did on my, on my personal, my decisions, that don't matter. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to being a man, I'm a man for real, for real. And nobody can't say that from me. I know I'm a man. Ain't nobody gonna use me to, like, I buy you everything, or I buy my, I do everything for my son, which I, I do regardless. But I do all this shit for my son, and I don't know what you're doing for real, for real. But everything I know that I'm doing for my son, and you still don't even let me spend time with my son. Like my you son could go to court. One time. My son's gonna be one year old, he only seen his sister one time. One Her year old. Been with his sister one time. No, I say twice. It's one been year. With his sister twice when she came over and she dropped when she's work at night, so she's had to drop shit. And then she would just drop them off to me when she got to go to work. But the whole day she got them, and she want me to pay for um, she want me to pay for uh for for the nanny. But I don't even get a chance to spend time with her, so I'm just spending all the money, throwing all the not throwing away, but giving all the money away, and I don't even get a chance to spend time with my son. But I got to always be the one go out my way to come all the way to her house from where I live at. You see what I'm saying? Whatever, I got to break whatever. You was going all the way over there to fuck? Don't complain about going all the way to her house now. Because when you wanted some ass, you was going all the way to her fucking house. So I don't want to hear that I got to go all the way to her house. to the. If she was giving you some ass, you wouldn't mind that drive. Cut the shit. Okay? Cut the shit. I'm doing my day. For me to come all the way to her house and got down just to got down just to see my son when he got a whole he got a whole daddy and a whole another family that you can just drop him off and he can spend time with his other family. And it's just like when jealousy and envy is in the way, when jealousy and envy is in the way like and emotions, like you ain't gonna never ever come out on top. You ain't gonna never it ain't gonna never ever go the way how it's supposed to. Because it's just like deep down inside, Shadi wants something that she can't get at this point. You see what I'm saying? And she knows that. You see what I'm saying? And it's just like you gonna try to make it hard on me with my son. This is my only little boy. Like, man, like, come on, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of y'all folks just talking shit, talking about um, I ain't going. Like, y'all don't know nothing about my life. Y'all just going up with somebody else said, it, man, and somebody else who ain't even had the right intentions even to make my son. You see what I'm saying? Just to be real, like. You ain't even had the right intention because if you did, if you was a real woman about what's going on, then you wouldn't even have tried to pursue me. Or or even if I try even if I try to pursue you, you would have cut that shit out like nah, but you got a whole situation and plus you used to fuck with my best friend. So Okay, so I agree and disagree with that. I feel like and and I don't give a fuck what he told you or lied to you and told you Keisha was a job and he was he had to do YouTube and he cut the shit. You're not gonna tell me that you living with somebody, y'all got three kids, y'all are filming on the internet and pretending to be all in love and happy or whatever, and you gonna tell me that, oh, it's just a job. I'm not even dealing with that. I'm not even dealing with that to even get this far. And that's why I say homegirl is at fault as well. Because you y'all keep making it seem like she the victim, she the victim. That she ain't no fucking victim. She knew what she was getting into, bruh. He he could lie until the middle of next week. I'm not dealing with that sound like a mess. Y'all don't hear what that sound like? That sound like a whole mess. I we we filming and 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 we it's a job and this is what I got to do to get my money and feed my family. Uh uh uh. There's no lie that you gonna tell me to make me believe 
that y'all won together and me and you got something. So what was her motive for this whole thing? Yeah, Jeremy's a piece of shit. I don't even have to say that anymore. He's a whole piece of shit. He's been a piece of shit. But Shorty, what was her motive for this whole thing as well? That's all I'm saying. I can't even fuck with you. You used to fuck with my best friend. I used to fuck with her best friend for real, for real. You see what I'm saying? And she backed on her. You see what I'm saying? To come fuck with me like for real, for real. I'm being real. I ain't lying. I ain't trying to make She did no mention that she used to I talk to his friend. Man, I'm just being real at this point. And it's just like, I sit back and I think like, damn, shot of like, Shotty had a motive this whole time, you see what I'm saying? Which I was stupid and dumb and foolish, you know what I'm saying? To even go for the shit, but, you know what I'm saying? Whatever happened, it happened. But it's just like, damn, like, you doing all this because ultimately you thought you was going to end up being with me or some shit when, you know, that wasn't the case because if I was going to be with you, then I would have been with you right then and there. I would have left Keisha right, I would have left, you know what I'm saying, Keisha right then and there. And, okay, cool, what's up, whatever. But it's just like, it been time, like, for real, for real, like, come on, man, like, I'm not, man, look, all I'm saying is, y'all can say what y'all want on the internet, because obviously, like I said, this shit entertainment, y'all, but at the end of the day, y'all entertainment, to my expense of me not having a relationship with my son, and shot again on here. And we don't got nothing to do with car, you not having, having a relationship shit, with your son. You know, down has been alive from the jump. You see what I'm saying? Like, and that real talk. And yes, I kept fucking with y'all. Like, I ain't going to take that away. Yeah, I kept doubling back and tripling back. Yeah, I did. With, that was my own demons, my own faults or whatever. He kept doubling back and tripling back? I thought she was a one-night stand. Hmm? One-night stands, you don't double back and triple back and take Miami trips and... She definitely wasn't one of one night stand. And she's stupid for letting you double back and triple back. And even if y'all slipped up and had a night for it to continue, 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 continue. Shorty knew he had a girl in the family. He knew he had a girl in the family. Granted, um, Shorty don't owe Keisha shit. Jeremy do. But I just think that that's whack. I think that that's hella whack as a woman to know someone has someone and be like, I don't care. You got nothing to do with me. I just think that that's hella whack. I had going on, but at the same time, you see what I'm saying? She knew what the fuck was going on, too, with my family, all that shit. Like, she talked to Keisha. Keisha told her, like, stop fucking with my, my nigga, like, dead ass. And you ain't stop. And I even told y'all, like, look, we can't do this no more, da 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 But me being a nigga, I was just like, well, shit, I can't do this with you no more, da 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 Like, I can't, I ain't finna be talking to you, nothing like that, da da So, you either gonna get what you can, or that's gonna be it. Man, I swear to God, this is on my son. Like, I swear to God, on my son, she told me out her mouth, like, I just take what I can keep. I just take what I can get. You see what I'm saying? And instead of her saying, okay, cool, you got your family, go be with your family, da da da. You told me straight up, like, I'll take what I can get. And then you're like, okay. I kind of believe that. Right. All right, y'all. I don't want to make this video too long, but basically, this whole situation is he said, she said, they said, I don't even know what to believe at this point. I think both parties make valid points at times. Because I think all of them are fucking retarded. You, I think he can't hold a conversation. See what I'm saying? <laughs> see, see, he don't know how to fucking talk. And I think that girl is not wrapped too tight either. I just think that it's this is just a disgusting situation. And we got four kids involved and I just feel bad for those kids like honestly because they got these are the parents that they have like and that's just the God's honest truth like I just feel bad for them like this whole situation is just never gonna get solved it's gonna continue and continue and continue um 
but I guess that'll keep me making videos, so fuck it. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that's going to conclude this video. If you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. Yeah, you right there. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.